Okay, I want to talk to you right now about the Cobalt 243 Cuddy Cabin. As I stated in my last segment, there is a reason for people to buy Cuddy Cabins. They're not especially popular right now. And frankly, I don't understand why. I have a Cuddy Cabin, as you know, and I enjoy the heck out of it. Had one pretty much my whole life. This boat redefines Cuddy Cabin. It's a 24-foot hull, 26 feet overall, which means you'd feel comfortable taking it out of here and running it 75 miles downriver to Colonial Beach or Ragged Point, Coles Point or any, uh, any place where you could conceivably spend the night, use the onshore bathroom facilities and swimming pool, you know? And that's, I think, what's so great about these. They're not really expensive to run, and they're extraordinarily practical. Now let's dig into the particulars of this boat. First of all, it has a Volvo Penta Duo prop. The great thing about the Volvo Penta Duo prop is that even if you fill this boat entirely full of people, you'll still be able to come onto plane readily, what we mean when we say make the boat go fast. And that means that you're going to be able to pull tubes, skis, do all sorts of fun things with this boat that you want to do. So number one, this boat's great at doing water sports. Okay. Number two, take a look at this Cobalt exclusive swim platform step. Now when this is deployed, you're actually sitting in the water. So number one, if you want to, you can pee without anybody noticing. But number two, it makes the boat incredibly easy to get on and off of. Okay, some people call it a swim platform, I call it an activity deck. This is your boat's back porch. The more practical your back porch is, the more fun you're going to have. Now, number one, take a look here. Here's a storage area for all your wakeboards, ski accessories. If you want to put a cooler down here, you can. And all you do is reach down and grab it. It's all right here. This is your ski toe pole. Now, this is important. This boat doesn't have a wakeboard tower, and it doesn't need to have a wakeboard tower for most wakeboarding. And the reason is because the toe point of this boat is so high. It's actually a couple of feet off the water, where on most boats it's about a foot off the water. So if you've got a kid that wants to get wacky and get some air with a wakeboard, you can do that. It also keeps the tow rope for tubes out of the water so they don't splash the passenger. Okay, so that's your very practical storage. Now check this out. How would there ever be an easier way to work a sun pad than this? It's easy to use, practical, and very relaxing. I think I might go to sleep right now. Hey! <laughs> I'm sorry, you scared me. Um, okay, so a cuddy cabin can be a second home. In other words, in uh, IRS terminology, if you can sleep on it, pee on it, cook on it, and shower on it, then it's a second home, and so you can also write off the interest. Although many people will tell you you're allowed to do that with a bow rider because it has a head, that's not true. So this is a significant reason to want to own a Cuddy Cabin style boat. You get the write off without having all the baggage of having a cabin cruiser. Okay, so here are some features that lend us to being able to use this as an overnighter. Number one, a sink, cold water only. Number two, a transom shower, so you can rinse yourself off. Now, if it's me, really, I'm either tied up in a marina and taking a shower in the bathroom, or I'm out here at Sandy Point sleeping and I jump overboard with some soap. Now, there's nothing more fun than skinny dipping at 6 o'clock in the morning, other than skinny dipping at midnight. Anyway, so this is a built-in cooler that drains into the engine compartment. Ask me about these screens later. Storage. See, we're keeping our canvas in there right now, but you wouldn't do that necessarily. You might keep your canvas in this lockable compartment. You could keep a cockpit canvas in there and keep it out of sight and out of mind all day long. A couple of little mentions about cobalt quality, okay, as long as we're here. Number one, a great deal of attention to detail in the upholstery. 
For example, this diamond pattern, it's hand stitched. It's not robot stitched. And you're not going to find that in any other production boat builder. Number two, look at your hardware quality. See, one of the reasons that the bimini tops don't rattle and can be run at the full speed of the boat, unlike most boat builders, is that you can increase the tension on the pull if you want to. And by doing that, you make it very stiff. Okay, let's move up to the helm for a second here. All right. Very, very practically laid out helm. This is the glove box. If you bought a GPS, you'd have a membrane touch pad GPS right over that hole. Water pressure switch, complete complement of gauges, simple push button switches. Look at the quality. Look at the stainless steel. The boat's designed to be looking this good when it's 10 years old. Okay, why do we call it a cuddy cabin? I don't know. The word cuddy is a traditional term in boating. C-U-D-D-Y, cuddy. What it means is a cabin that you can't stand up in. And people would say, well, why would I want a cabin that I can't stand up in? Doesn't it get hot down there? And the answer is lots of good reasons and yes, if you don't use the features that are on the boat. But before we get into the cabin, let's get on top of it. Now, how do we get to the bow? Cobalt uses a really ingenious way to get up to the front of the boat. Just simply two steps that store away, like so. Thus, going to do an easy walk up to the bow. Okay? The bow rails are like this for a reason. If you were going to use the anchor, then you'd want to climb up onto this deck, open this very convenient hatch, lift the anchor out, and drop it overboard. Some people would ask the question, well, why don't we have a full-size bow rail? I have a full-size bow rail on my teddy cabin. The problem with it is if you pull up to another dock, like you're going to a crab house, which is something you would do here on the Potomac River, and you're nosing up with the bow, you want to be able to step off of the bow easily. You're just going to have a rope tied to that cleat, you're going to step off onto the dock, give a couple of wraps around the piling, and then go for the stern rope to be thrown at you. Okay, this does not come from the factory with the boat, but it's something that I wanted to point out. If you don't have a flat bow, you can't lay out. So by bringing one of these along, you not only can lay out on the bow on Sunday, but when you get cold, um, hot, you just jump overboard with it, and now it's your raft, too. Now, let's talk about that hot issue. This hatch is fully screened, and then there's two portholes, one on either side of the cabin. Those also have screens, so you can get plenty of ventilation in the boat. But what most people do is they buy these cuddy cabins with two batteries in them. One runs everything on the boat when you're not on the boat, and the other one is just for starting the battery. So what they do is they buy a 12-volt cabin fan and put it in the cabin. And we can install those up on the bulkhead so they're very convenient. All right, so here we'll answer the question, what can you do in a cuddy cabin? Why would you have a cuddy cabin versus a bow rail? All right, so let's answer the questions by elimination. For those of you who want to buy a bow rider, the first thing you're going to tell me is you're going to take eight or ten people on the boat. As soon as that happens, the cuddy cabin becomes a little bit too crowded. You also tell me that you want to have lots of storage and you don't want to use the cabin as a closet. Well, eh, there's some advantages to using the cabin as a closet. You can lock it, for one thing, and you haven't done yourself out of doing the things that you cannot do on a bow rider that you can do on a cuddy cabin, which I mean, I'm just going to be real frank with you. How many in my viewing audience are Muslim? How many of you in my viewing audience are Methodist? How many in our viewing audience are white? How many in our viewing audience are black? All right, every one of those answers comes to a number less than 100%. How many of us in our viewing audience sleep? How many people in our viewing audience have sex? Okay. I'm pretty much betting now I'm at 100%. Well, if you're on the bow rider, guess what? You've got no privacy. You also don't have a bed.
this is a very practical bed. I'm six foot one, and I can lay here without my feet touching anything. Now you don't have a full length berth over on this side, you say, so what do you do? Well, what happens is we have a table that goes here, which is kind of nice too if you want to sit in here and eat, but then that table also drops down, and then the berth fills in. So you can have two people sleeping in here. You can actually have two people and a kid sleeping in here. If you have one kid, you know, that'll work too. You can also put an air mattress out on the deck like you can with a bow rider, but you're not going to want to do that. Nobody ever really does. Okay? And I think that this is a very practical cabin layout. There's storage under here. There's storage back in here. There's storage here. There's no storage under this. And the reason is because they're trying to give you as much headroom as possible. See, I don't have any problem with a cuddy cabin. I just don't want a cuddy cabin that I can't sit up straight in. And see, there's more storage in behind here and up in here. Places to put little knick-knacky things. It's really nice. And there, you have a, a USB input in here. You can plug an iPod in. They use a carbon monoxide detector in case you have the motor running and you're taking a nap up here. There's an alarm that'll go off if you've got carbon monoxide in here. They even have a high water alarm for the bilge pump. So if you're sleeping and you get high water, there's actually a separate alarm that goes off. Now this is a safely designed, high quality, and very practical bow rider. I mean, to me, I'm going to mount a 12 volt cabin fan either there or up here on the bulkhead, and I'm going to get all the ventilation I want once I have this opened up. All right, bow riders have a bathroom, so why do we need a cuddy cabin for a bathroom? Your bathroom is going to be in the same spot that you're sleeping in. Nobody wants to use it, so that's why a cuddy cabin isn't practical. Wrong. Okay. Here's your cabin. And here's your bathroom. Now, I didn't put a sink in this bathroom to make it larger inside, and we have a sink in the cockpit five feet away. But you can get a sink in here. But more importantly, I mean, and I have a lid on this thing, you know, this isn't a place where I'm going to want to spend all day, but it's, it's practical. It's not uncomfortable to be in here. And you say, well, there's no port light. Of course not, because Cobalt actually has a vent fan in here. The, the, the Cobalt is, has a, a very high attention to detail. But th this is why this boat is so practical. You know, you can, you can sleep on it, you can eat on it, you can shower on it, you can be romantic on it, you can spend the night on it, you can do everything on it. You can fish off of it. You can tube off of it. You can water ski off of it. So when we start talking about these bow riders and how much more practical they are, I mean, yeah, sure, if you're going to have 10 people on the boat, I agree with you. But if you're not, I humbly submit that this boat, this particular Cobalt, makes a compelling argument for owning a Cuddy Cap. I hope you've found this video scintillating and informative. Good day.